How did you do it in healing yourself? At um, I, I had a couple strategies in mind. Yeah. But you can't always go by your strategies because things happen in the race. And basically, Steve and I were watching each other. And a few other guys were in the mix. And then uh, the first sprint, there was only four sprints. The first sprint it was full on. I don't know, I think I was third or something. And then, uh, and then uh, second sprint, what happened to this? I can't remember. But the third sprint, I broke away and got it on my own. And then coming up to the last sprint, he he took off, but I still had enough points that if I finished second, I would have beat him. So I just made sure I beat the guy that I was with, and I took it. So yeah, I saw your arm go up. I was I, I wanted it so bad. Oh, you know what you said to me uh, the very first time you uh -huh. said, "In a way, I think I've been training for this all my life." And I think yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought that was such an important thing to say yeah. where we are with this. Yeah, yeah. And I'm 52 here. years old, so yeah. I've been waiting a while. Uh, there's still a top <laughs> your old buddy over there. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> he's everyone's mentor, right? Isn't Everyone. he something yeah, remarkable. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah it, was, uh, it was just a, an outstanding race. Good. Now, this is the third I'm, day I'm glad of racing. I'm glad we entertained you guys. You did. You were impressed. impressed. Yeah, because it's fun. When, when, when she the crowd loved your interview with you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> she used to serve me coffee. She used to serve me coffee. That's right. Okay, yeah. I had to speak about a Grande Pike. Sure. <laughs> is that what you, is that what you, I don't know. Actually, it's, well, but when, back then it was Pike, because there was no blonde. I'm blonde now. You switch over to blonde because yeah. it's been a few years. And I'm not fat now. Oh, okay. There you go. Tell us about what you're looking at. Well, I must say you're looking uh, pretty yeah. good. You haven't got much of a sweat. You're a bit damp oh, there. Oh, trust me. You're not I'm dripping. You're not yeah. dripping. Peter knows how much I sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Peter's been to covered many races and we let him. I always leave a trail behind me. So who's out there in the stands cheering tonight? Uh, tonight? Um, Actually, nobody's coming. Tomorrow, my dad's coming. But uh, it's hard. At my age, everyone's older, so they need, they need to plan their week so they can get out. They can't come every day. It's good. It's good. It's good. Well, it was really good to see you two competing today. Yeah. And you had a great win this morning. I did. Yeah, I injured yeah. Right yeah. after that, I said, How are you feeling? He said, You know, I'm starting to feel young again. Isn't that oh, the truth? Well, there like, you how, go. when you're out there, how are yeah. you feeling? I mean, when you. Went you know, we, we train a lot, though. I mean, and Peter can attest to that. We, uh, this is kind of a lifestyle for us, so we're on our bikes a lot. We go away south and we ride for a couple of weeks. We watch what we eat, we watch our weight, we, you know, we, we do it all. We read about things, we buy nice equipment. Um, so it's a real lifestyle. This, uh, it could be my last chance to, to grab you all and I'll see you tomorrow, but, uh, is there any one thing that you want going out on the media, folks? Um, I get the quotes out. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, just that, um, the, the, G, the Greater Toronto Area has been waiting for a facility like this all my lifetime. Yeah. And it's similar to what Calgary did for speed skating when they built the old one. Yeah. World champions within two or three years. Yeah. Same thing's going to happen here. So I'd like to encourage anybody in any sport to come out and try this. Because you never know where maybe their talents lie here, and maybe they can be a world champion in three or four years. It's very possible. Yeah, that's a, that's a great yeah. point. So come on out, and it's not that bad. I mean, the walls look intimidating, but once you're out there, it's not. It's nothing compared to Forest City. Yeah. yeah. Is, uh, There's a little track in London, Ontario, and the walls are. It's steeper than this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I was talking to a few of them raced it. Well, as the CEO said, we've got a legacy up here. Yeah. And, it, and I said yeah. it was something that you and Steve had yeah. talked about when I interviewed you. Yeah, it's great. And next year, there's going to be twice as many people here. Well, thanks very much. Yeah, yeah. yeah thanks for, for the me. questions. They were great. All right. Thanks, Peter. Congratulations. Congratulations. First jersey? Is great. it your first? No, it's my second. I won one in um, 2006. Roman in the same race. Wow. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> but not against the competition like no, that. No, but I was. Uh, do you remember a guy named Doug Bonner? He was yep. a national team guy from out west, and I beat him that, that day. Totally unexpected. So. Nice. So, so it's a repeat for this you. This is sweet because it's at home. Yeah. Right. Awesome Hi. to see.